Always investigating. Thousands of tickets each, each year on the CTA for illegal activity. But some say it's done little to stop the problems. Passengers and city leaders demand more be done to keep the CTA safe. CBS 2's Tara Molina is digging into the issue. Bottom line, you're breaking the law. And there needs to be consequences for folks that break the law. Heading downstairs like these, through the turnstile, and onto the L, only to find people smoking inside the train car. It's just out of control at this point. This sends a message. It definitely doesn't send a welcoming message. Those clouds of smoke, they're not legal. You know, if you're not comfortable with it, I wouldn't advise trying to <laughs> approach the person about it. Already concerned about safety. CTA riders told us they see people drinking on the trains, using them as a very public restroom, and smoking more than cigarettes, vapes, or marijuana. To be honest, the crack smoking has increased dramatically. Um, yeah, it's all the time, and at night is worse, so kind of scary. Ryan told me she'd just seen someone smoking crack on the red line that morning. So I see it every day. This is a red line train to Howard. Outside of the smell, I've actually seen like uh, a lot of trash and waste from uh, the smoking situation more often, especially on the red line. So what's being done about it? There is an expectation of you as the president. With Alderman recently bringing up the smoking issue to CTA President Dorval Carter and no solution offered, we found through public records requests, the city's answer, tickets. Citing the people smoking on the train when they're spotted by a Chicago police officer in the transit unit. Last year, there were 3,889 tickets issued for smoking on the CTA. The latest detailed information available from the city is from 2021. Chicago police officers took the time to stop and write nearly 4,500 tickets, just under 3,900 stuck. We followed those tickets and found, based on administrative and finance records, only 208 were actually paid. According to the city's office of the inspector general, there are 39 Chicago police officers making up the transit security unit. There are 135 officers making up the public transportation unit. Chicago police wouldn't tell us which officers are writing these tickets, but the smoking tickets issued give you an idea of where they are. Most of the citations are issued along the red line, many on South State Street. So are those officers riding the trains or spending most of their time on the platforms? What is the procedure for handling smokers? Are they ticketing homeless people? Chicago police refuse to set up an interview with us or answer any of our questions, including whether they've tried other solutions, since ticketing clearly isn't working. No solutions from the CTA either. I hear from my constituents every day. We brought what we learned to one of the aldermen who's been trying to get the same answers from those same offices. These trains are disgusting. They need to clean it up. 42nd Ward Rep, Brendan Riley. If you're getting on the blue line from O'Hare, and this is your very first experience with the city of Chicago as a tourist, is getting on a train where people are doing all sorts of illegal activities, drugs, smoking, drinking, urinating, you name it. Um, what is that sending as a message to our visitors? They don't want to come back to that. So we should look at these train systems as our gateway, as our welcome wagon for, for the visitors that come here. A welcome wagon in desperate need of a makeover, Riley says. We told him what we learned about ticketing. He called it a total waste of resources. I suggested the officers doing the ticketing aren't even in uniform. CPD wouldn't address that or his suggestion for another course of action, escorting smokers off the system. They don't get to use the train then, remove them from the station. Uh, that has to happen. But right now, handing someone a piece of paper is just handing someone a piece of paper. There are zero consequences. Our constituents depend on CTA. Riley says city council has asked and will continue to ask for more police riding the trains. Job number one is, is taking back the CTA, especially the train lines, getting police on the trains, patrolling cars, I think you'll see a lot of this illegal activity drop off. As for CTA riders, they want a safe system. Cleaning it up a bit too, that would be a bonus. A clean environment when you don't have to worry about certain things. 
Chicago police, the CTA and the mayor's office still haven't addressed our specific questions related to this issue and whether they've tried to tackle it any other way. But you can read the brief statements they sent our way in this story on our website, where you'll also find where police have issued these tickets. Reporting in the loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.